ひなちゃん。ありがとう。君は僕の恩人だ。The scream that broke through deep into his soul like nothing before ever did. It is this that would trigger a major shift in Sangatsu's story going forward. A story deeply embedded in mutual empathy. Kiriyama Rei is a troubled person. A young shogi prodigy who traded a normal school life for a head start in making his hobby into a career. A hobby that might not quite be that. Being forced into a hostile family situation at a young age, shogi became less of a fun part time activity and more of an escape for the orphaned boy. That was in part due to a lack of warmth and empathy in his day to day life. While an act of selfless empathy has saved him from a possibly even worse outcome, it was that same act that made others envy the attention he got. Growing up with a board game being the only indisputable staple in his life, Ray ended up suffering from depression, starting at a very young age all throughout his teenage years. The first season of Sangatsu no Lion almost exclusively focuses on Rei going through daily hardships, spending most of his day studying shogi strategies to maintain his upwards trend in the competitive scene he was now a part of. Failing to compete would threaten his status as a kurokishi, a professional shogi player, which in turn means that even his last bastion of safety is in danger of crumbling if he didn't put enough work into it. Or so he thought. What Ray didn't realize at first is that Shogi wasn't the only thing anymore that gave his life some needed stability. Not long after moving into his new apartment in Marshtown, the struggling boy made the acquaintance of the Kawamoto sisters. Three sisters, spanning the age of 3 to 22, who had also lost their parents in an accident and are now living in a small house across the river together with their grandpa. The relationship between Rei and the girls has slowly developed into one of mutual benefit. Kiriyama, feeling indebted to the family after being cared for by them before, agreed to helping them out with small tasks such as grocery shopping from time to time. In return, he gets treated to a warm meal and, most importantly, a cozy family atmosphere. In theory, the sisters aren't obligated to invite Rei into their house. In theory, Rei isn't obligated to keep helping them with their chores. In theory, their entire dynamic is mainly driven forward by mutual empathy. When Akari, the oldest sister, took the stranger boy home with her while no one else was betting an eye, She had nothing to gain from it. When Ray, the stranger boy, brought the oldest sister some ingredients she had forgotten to buy for dinner, he had nothing to gain from it. All their actions were based on a strong sense of empathy. This back and forth of mutual helpfulness is weaved throughout the entire series. They take each other by the hand 
and pull one another back up every time they see someone fall. This keeps on working for the longest time, until one day, Hina, the middle sister, is confronted with a problem too big for Rei to handle. Until now, no matter how much he had helped the three girls out, he always considered himself a burden. He deeply felt how good the sisters' influence was for his well-being. He knew spending more time with them would benefit him in the long run. But that was all he saw. He always thought of his good deeds as paying them back, yet didn't think that anything he did was really good enough because he kept seeing himself as a mere outsider. He wouldn't have ever dared to invade their privacy out of his own selfish wants, and sometimes even considered leaving their lives completely to not bother anymore. But in truth, he wasn't ever a bother to them, which was painfully obvious for anyone who would observe them for a short while. Yet Ray has never changed his perspective of their relationship. In his own eyes, he has only ever been a bystander until this night. It is here with Hina crying in front of him, when our protagonist starts to realize. These people don't just need anyone, they need him. People he deeply cares about also care for him the same. A strong feeling of empathy inside him starts to swell up. He remembers all that this small girl has done for him in the past. All the love that has been shown to him. The feelings he was completely deprived of for most of his life. Ray knows he can't solve her problem, but he doesn't need to, to make her feel the same safety that she has given him. He finally sees a purpose, finds a drive, has a goal. He makes the decision, and with that changes the course for the rest of the season and his entire life.